or you're building a Minecraft city and you want to throw a little bit more realism in there. So how do you actually go? Hey, you. Do you want to buy a watch? Yeah, I just want to let them know that this video is sponsored by Movement and they can get 15% off by using the link in the description. And they have a bunch of really cool watches and I have three of them and I can show them. Okay, hold on. How about you tell them at the end of the video instead? Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Let's design an apartment building. Now, this type of apartment building is really important in your city, even if it isn't super nice or luxury. It adds some nice grit and realism. In this video, we can design a floor plan on paper. I'm gonna make a quick Revit model because I didn't use a ruler and I will next time. And then we're gonna make it in Minecraft. All right, before we jump into it, if you don't mind hitting like, it just helps with the channel growth. I know it sounds like something small, but trust me, it makes a huge difference. So in this building, we're only going to have one type of unit just for the sake of demonstration. And they're all just gonna be one bedroom apartments. Okay, so our apartments, we are going to have a kitchen, we are going to have a living room, one bedroom, and a bathroom. So ignore the size of the door there, it is just small because I'm building at a larger scale. All right, jumping back to paper, I'm just going to show you where I'm going to put these blocks. So each of these blocks has four units, and then on either end, I'm going to put staircases and extend the hallway a little bit. And then in the middle, I'm going to have a little bit of a segment with an extra staircase, and I'm going to have two elevators. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I build between four and five block floors with two blocks in between floors. But this time, I'm actually going to condense it. So the way I'm going to do this without having it look weird is I'm going to have four blocks for the actual floors themselves. I'm going to have one block for the ceiling, and then in cube pack, I'm going to use trap doors and then place them on the ceiling. So it's going to be a white ceiling, and then you can have your spruce floor. Okay, so for the actual unit facade design, so I want to have a balcony and a double window. So for the actual bedroom window, we're going to indent it a little bit and put some vertical trap doors along the side for a thin black line just to give it a little bit of depth. And for the actual balcony, we're going to make it two meters wide and then have some glass along the sides there as the uh, railings. And we're going to add some flooring. We're going to use some spruce. We're going to add some walls around the outside. And then the inside walls, the non-structural walls, those are called partition walls. So we're going to use those for the bathroom and then the kitchen half wall and the bedroom. Now I'm gonna add the trapdoors on the ceiling. So the interior height is going to be slightly less than four meters. And then we're just gonna fill in the top just like the floor below. Okay, so the unit floor plan is done. So we're going to just add a three meter wide hallway. And then we are going to copy the unit. We're gonna flip it to the other side and we're going to paste it. And now since I want to have four units per section that I can stack, I'm going to take those two units. I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to paste it across. And now once we've done that, we're going to stack it one. So now this is one half of the building and it is eight units per side. So the type of staircase we're gonna use, it's called switchback stairs because they're most compact. All it is is that between each floor, you have two different sections or two different runs of stairs with a landing in the middle. So if you're building a high rise, you can use different types of cores. So typically skyscrapers use central cores for the maximum amount of natural lighting, uh, since you don't want the stairs to be taking up precious window space. You can also use a split core, but since this building is gonna be pretty long, I wanna have three staircases and two elevators. So I'm gonna have one fire rated staircase per side, and in the middle, we will have another fire rated staircase, but it's also gonna have two elevators right beside it. Okay, let's continue with the central part. So we're gonna add a staircase again, just the same as the other one. And then we're just gonna add two elevators and we're gonna have some windows on the elevator side. Just so when you're in the elevator, you can look outside. Okay, once that's done, let's copy, flip and paste the built section onto the other side. All right, now that we have our template, we're going to paste it into the city of Andia on Cube Community. If you would like to visit the city, you can do so by using the IP on the screen. So every unit, I want to push it back by one block just so it's on a very, very slight diagonal, not too noticeable. And it's not going to complicate your floor plans or anything. It's just a tiny little bit. OK, all done. So now we're just going to paste it over by the highway. OK, it's all in place, even though it's floating. We'll deal with that later. So now I'm just going to stack the building upwards. 
Once you have the desired amount of floors, you can extend your stairwells up to the roof because your stairs need to go all the way up because you have to get onto the roof somehow. Okay, so now we're going to add the top of the elevator and all the mechanical equipment that goes with it. And we're going to fill the roof with rock. So this is more common in low rise buildings and less in high rises, but I'm going to use it anyway. Nothing is really going to fall off because the parapets are three meters tall. Parapets, for those who don't know, that's just the part of the wall that extends up over the top of the roof line. Okay, now I want to add some HVAC. So HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. For HVAC, you can usually get away with just sprawling it across the roof because HVAC systems are usually pretty complicated, so I usually don't think twice about it. I'm also going to go around the edges and add these three meter tall iron bars so that the window washers can hook onto them and rappel down the side of the building. Okay, let's go ahead and add some solar panels too. So I know you can't actually slant them in Minecraft, but let's just pretend that they're slanted towards the south. The reason for this is that the sun is always going to be on the south side since our fictional city is in the northern hemisphere. If you do end up working in the world of architecture, you will likely hear solar panels called photovoltaics. That is the actual term for it. Also, kind of a fun note is that solar panels that are on the side of buildings or actually part of the roof itself, those are called building integrated photovoltaics. Okay, now we have to fill in the other side of the roof, but I don't have the patience for that, so I'm just going to copy it, rotate it, and paste it on the other side, and we'll call it a day. Okay, and for the finishing touches, we can just add a rooftop garden and a little bit of greenery. So that's it, nothing super hard here. If you like this video, feel free to check out the other video. Hey, you. Hey, I'm not done the outro yet. You want to buy a watch? You can get 15% off movement watches by using the link in the description. I wear one every day, they're great, and for transparency, I was the one that reached out first, because I've been wearing one since 2017, and it's my favorite watch that I've ever had. They start around 120 US, and it's a great price for the quality. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna go hide in an alley now and sell more watches to unsuspecting people. Okay, bye.